Hello everybody, I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I went to get um, clasp, clasp envelopes to put some business papers in for Friday when I have a lot of stuff running to do. So I know where to reach for what, but we end up getting a lot more than that. So we're going to go through it kind of fast. It's not a big haul, but I just wanted to show it before I put it up. Um, First off, I went to get these. This was my purpose of going, but I spent a lot more than I meant to. There are six envelopes. The I'm going to get my glasses. I do this every haul. Y'all probably get tired of it. A uh, six by nine inch and a nine by twelve inch. And there's six in each one. One has the clasp like that. And there's six. And then this one has the peel and seal. So it's that one. It's got six. I thought that was a pretty good price for those. And then I picked me up some different hair elastics. I got three different ones. I don't know why, but I did. There's three elastics. It's soft hold all day comfort. There's pink and then like a coil maybe and a tan I'm not sure but whatever color you want to call those <laughs> I got them for work because I have to keep my hair up so that does better than um, trying to leave it down and then I've never had these it says no snag all day comfort um, jelly spirals spirals so I'd never tried those so I thought I'd go ahead and try these Again, I have to keep my hair up, so that's why I've done that. And then I got 30 of these. It says clasp free, uh, salon quality, it just says elastics, but I get 30 of them. So there's blue, yellow, purple, orange, and pink. So that ought to hold me for a while. And then I got some food or snacks, really junk. Um, I got the Sour Patch Kids bunnies. Sour, then sweet. You all let me know about those, but those are the bunnies, so I got those. Uh, and then I got my baby boy some snossages in a blanket. Beef and cheese flavor. He likes stuff like that, so he's always got to get something. That's his treat. And then I picked up some... Uh, three different colors of the Baker's twine. They're all three. And there's 20 yards on each one. And we have a green, yellow, and an orange. So I thought it was like Easter colors a little bit. So there they are. There's the yellow. And there's the orange. I don't know if you can see it for the glare. <clears throat> um, and I also got these other bags. I got some the other day, but they didn't want, they were a different color. They were like of age. And <clears throat> they're the junctures, junctures, I can never say that, a uh, tote bag. <clears throat> it's got a button clasp closure, fits most cell phone and tablets. So I thought this would be good, like for Mother's Day, I could use my Cricut. I think I said this in the other haul, but I'll say it again. <laughs> and put something on the outside of them, <clears throat> like for Mother's Day. So there's a black one, <clears throat> and then there's like a coil, pinkish, or, well, it's like a pink coil, I don't know, but anyway, I thought that would be good for that, and then I just picked up a four pack of these pure silk razors, ladies razors, I don't know if any of you all have done, um, <clears throat> it says calligraphy writing, and I got some markers, Crayola, Crayola markers, 
And this is a Crayola hand lettering creative art pad. So I'm trying to get into that. This looks something like a kid book, but it's got the letters in it so you could learn how to write write with the markers. So that's why I got that. Um, create and share. Beginner's Guide, Midnight Metallic. <clears throat> but it says collect all three books, but I couldn't find these three. But there they are if y'all want to <clears throat> look at them and see which ones you want. But I got the Create and Share. So that's the one I ended up with. And then I got some... Well, my phone just dropped, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what's wrong with my phone today, but it's dropping. But we're back in business here, <laughs> so I don't have to redo everything. I got the liquid adhesive. It says perfect glue for blinging, but it's not what I'm doing with it. It says perfect for embellishments, wood, plastic, leather, paper, cardboard, and trims. Easy to use applicator. Apply glue in the exact spot where it is needed. <clears throat> so I got that. I'm not sure how good it is. I may have had it. I've had so much stuff from Dollar Tree. I may have had it. I don't know. <clears throat> and my sink has been stopped up. And I know this is probably a joke. I'm not sure if it's going to work. But I'm going to try it. It's called a wave design. Pulls hair and clogs easily. Triple barbs. Grab more debris. Um, 18 inches trap barb extends out when bent to hook more debris. So for dollar twenty-five, I just tried it. I'm gonna try it. It's a ruder <laughs> wave design. It's too long to show in the whole picture, but as you can see, it's long. So we'll try that. Non-toxic. No harsh chemicals needed, designed for multiple uses. So we're going to try that. It's probably not going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. And then I've got more signs, which I do not even need more signs, but they're just cute and I can always use them next year. I really thought this one was cute. It says, Cotton Tails Pick Your Own Carrot Patch. I've seen other people haul these, and I thought they were really cute. I don't think it says the size. Uh, I don't see a size, but anyway, probably 8 by 10 or something. And then this one's pretty. It says, Bunny Trail Farms, open daily, 9 to 5, locally grown, farm fresh eggs and produce, established 1925. And then it's got the pink checks. So I thought that one was pretty too. And again, I'm sorry for the phone falling, but the last time, or one time I was doing a video and it cut off because somebody had called in, or, my, or I think my phone went dead, and I had to go and read a second part. So I'm glad that it didn't kick off or quit recording. I had to start over or add to it. I don't like to do that. But this one's blue, check. It says Cottontail Farms Annual Easter Market Bunny Trails Carrots and Candy. Bunny parking in the back. So I thought that one was pretty too. It's got the blue checks. So. And then I picked that up. I think just two of these. I'm pretty sure it's just two. Uh, it says Cottontail and Company Egg Farm, Hippity Hoppity Lane, one mile, one mile ahead, egg hunts daily. I got two of them, so I'm just going to show one though. It's like um, cane boards, what it looks like, but I thought it was pretty the way they had the little snaps in my hair. Leaning down to get that phone, messed it up even more. But I thought that was pretty. All the little Easter eggs. You could put this on a wreath or if you wanted, because it's like a, it sticks out some, as you can see. 
you could take that off and make like a picture and then paint this for another project. So you could get like two projects out of the one picture if you wanted to. I'll probably leave them that way now anyway. And then I picked up this box of mini chocolate moon pies. You only get four. I don't know if that's a good deal or not because they're not that big, but I like them for lunch take to work so I got them but anyway there's the little moon pies it says the original marshmallow sandwich so got that and sometimes I just need old towels or washcloths or whatever cheap ones so I got two of the hand towels And then I picked up two sets of the two pack of washcloths. Cloths. They're just gray. And then I picked up. Oh, and I got me another um, eye mask. I had one, and somehow the things broke on it. I could have probably fixed it, but for a dollar twenty-five, I just got another one. Cause I work night sometimes, or well, all the time, and. It, and I need to sleep through the day and the light gets in my eyes. So that's why I got that. I don't need nothing fancy. Then I also picked up five packs, five pack of the Almond Joy. Again, a lot of this may not be a good deal because you don't get that much and they're not that big. But when you're craving something or you see something you like, you just get it anyway. And these are the Junior Mints and they're in the eggs. And I love Junior Mints. Actually, I was thinking these were the Whoppers, but I like Junior Mint, so that'll work. But it says eggs, Junior Mint eggs. It says 3.5 servings per container. Serving size is 8 pieces. Calories are 130. By the time I get done, I'll probably do the whole box, so. Maybe for the day, not maybe one setting, but... <laughs> And we're down to our last couple of things. I always get these cheese curls. I know they're a brim snack, but I love them. They're they're good to be a dollar twenty-five at the other stores. Maybe not this brand, but they'd probably be three or four dollars. So, and you get six servings per container. Serving size is one ounce, but again, I will, I'll be past that serving, I'm sure. And they're good until June 17th of 22, which they'll be gone this week. So I won't worry about that. But I picked up two of those. But I just wanted to tell y'all, like I always do, if you want, just go to my YouTube channel and subscribe and like it and share it to uh, your family or friends and get my YouTube channel um, up there, I want to get thousands and thousands by the time I retire next year so I can do this full time when I'm off because when I'm not working, I'm going to have to have something to do. And I'm thinking about maybe starting an Etsy shop. If any of you could tell me how to get that started or I know a little bit about it, but it just seems like it's a lot of work to put it in there and it's got to be pretty precise on everything in like how much per inch or yards or whatever everything is and that's the hard part with like crafts like I don't know pictures and stuff that I make I don't know uh, exactly all the sizes I can measure them all but sometimes it'll ask for like you know the what you made it of what's it I can't talk today I do this on every video because I'm always tired because I work the night before usually so please excuse that but anyway if we had bloopers, I'd be blooping or editing that out, but we don't. Um, I'll edit it after I do it, but I'll usually leave everything in it so you'll know exactly what what I said or what I did. Because I don't really know how to edit all this stuff, so you just get the raw thing. Whatever I said, that's what I said. <laughs> but anyway, um, like I said, I may start an Etsy shop when I learn how to do it because I'll be retired next year, hopefully. Uh, I'm just getting tired and I'd like to stay in all the cold weather and if I'm in here doing a Etsy shop 
sale or whatever or editing YouTube videos or whatever the case may be, then I won't be out in the weather and I'll still be having fun and give me something to do. But if any of you has have an it has an Etsy shop, uh, just put below, you know, if it's complicated, because I think they charge you, I know they do, so much for your stuff. So I don't want something where you try to sell it for 20 and you end up with 2 or $3 of it. I don't want that. I'd rather just sell it, you know, on Facebook or something. That's where I sell a lot of my stuff. A friend at work just bought a, a Easter decor wall hanging thing that I made. Um, it was a bunny. And I made it out of one of those little straw hats from Dollar Tree and some carrots down at the bottom. It's really cute. Uh, but I just like making stuff like that. I'm not one of these that's got like a, you know, a assembly line and I make the same thing. All my stuff, none of it may not be the same unless, you know, it's pretty close if I use the same stuff. But it's not like, you know, a machine makes them. I make them so it takes time. And everybody says, well, don't put your prices too high. And then some say... Don't put it too low, but you got to account for your time. And I used to think people wouldn't buy it if I'd put, you know, a big price on it, which my stuff is not pricey, I don't feel, because I spend like an hour or two on it. So, you know, that's my time, my time to go get the material, supplies. It's, you know, things that my home, my electric, stuff that I use, and my tools wear and tear on them. Uh, my machine, I got a cricket and that vinyl and stuff. It takes it takes quite a bit of money to get the good stuff that you know you want to sell with or make and sell. So again, you know, I had to put in for my time and the supplies because I have to pay for that. Even though some of it or most of it comes from Dollar Tree, it still adds up once you buy a bunch of stuff for projects. So again, just you know whoever or if anybody on here is watching it and they do an Etsy shop just uh, put in the comments what you think of it and if it's that hard to do or am I just making it sound complicated but I appreciate everybody that watches this like I said I don't know if anybody is or will but it'll be on YouTube and whenever you're watching this good morning good afternoon good night middle of the night whatever uh, the way I work, I'm a night owl on the weekend, too, because I can't sleep where I'm used to working. Um, but I'm just wanting everybody to subscribe and just have a good day and enjoy these hauls that I put in here. And maybe you can find something here that you like that you didn't know was at Dollar Tree. I'm there two or three times a week or at least every once a week or like on a Friday when I'm off work but it don't have to be that it can be like today I went to get one or two things I end up with 20 so that's kind of how it goes with Dollar Tree uh I go in after one thing and end up with a whole bunch but that's my fault I could just go in and go straight to what I wanted and come back but I don't do that I have to look around and then I see other people on here haul stuff and it's like oh I'd like to have that and then I get looking in that section, and then I end up, well, okay, I need this, I need that. Could use that, you know, and that's just how it is. And I think I'm not the, or I don't think I'm the only one. I don't really like the price hike, but it's still cheaper than some stores, like grocery stores, for some things. Now, some things you can get a family dollar, and they're the same thing or close to it for a dollar. So you really want to look out there if you're at a family dollar if you just happen to be at dollar tree and want it that's different but a lot of the stuff that i see at family dollar is at dollar tree a quarter higher so you just kind of got to kind of watch it now because i mean i still buy stuff there because i like it and i'm there but you do have to kind of watch on some of it like some of their stuff it's not really worth the dollar 25 only because you might get like a handful of peanuts for a dollar twenty-five. I'm not going to pay that for a little bag of peanuts that I could eat in a couple bites. I mean, it's not worth that. You got to kind of pick and choose what you want to buy there now. Um, I mean, I buy a lot of stuff there, but I kind of debate. There's lots of things I see that I probably would have threw in my buggy if it was still a dollar, but. When I think, okay, I get four of those, I'm going to be paying $5 instead of four, then I kind of reconsider. Um, but anyway, I just want to hop 
or I wanted to hop on here, and I did. Uh, now I'm going to hop off. Sound like a bunny here at Easter. But I'm going to hop off here and go drink me some coffee because I don't usually lay down till later in the day anyway. But like I said, just subscribe to my channel and God bless everybody and have a good day or night. Whatever day or night you're watching this. Have a good day. Bye.